Hey guys, Jagus here, this is Jagus Reviews. Alright, so today we're going to be doing the JBL Boombox 3. We're going to be doing that against the LG X-Boom X9. And eventually we'll be doing some of the other ones as well, but they are the most expensive speakers in their class at the moment, both retailing around the $450 to $500 mark. Behind the JBL we have the Hyper Boom, so we're going to be doing the Hyper Boom versus the JBL, get that going. And then behind the LG, I've got the new Monster Blaster 3.0, so I'm pretty excited about that one. See if for like a $200 speaker, does it hold up? Is it as good as its younger version, the 2.0? And kind of how does that go for a multi-directional speaker? Anyways, let's do these. Let's get them going, see does the LG hold its own? Is it as good? You know, how does it all go? So let's go ahead and start. I believe we are starting with the LG and let's go about 50% on each. Starting with that LG. Let's 
song to see how the bass does on both full blast starting with the LG So hand me the money, I pay for the pie. I'ma give all of my people a portion to put them a fortune. I'm flipping the ride. I can't be mixy when iffy the vibe. And for Boombox. Lead the time. Why is you all on my phone like you want me? Like you wasn't pushing the kids to the side. I don't know. You're thinking I'm burnt. Toast on my crosses and dirt on my eyes. Done with your efforts. I'm dealing with pressures. I know it's a lesson that's worth it to watch. Dubbing the mixes I'm mixing. I know I've been missing. I needed some personal time. Full of pictures, the mentions. I don't I mean it, I'm staying inside Cause they got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I saw but my run through the money The press will be LG I feel like I'm falling, the birdie is back Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something That's why I ain't calling Phone and progression is all that I wanted The phone and affection, I'm summoning and dubbing Cause they got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I saw but my run through the money The press will be calling Left all my blessings, I feel like I'm falling The birdie is back Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something That's why JBL Progression is all that I wanted, a full win affection, I summon and dub it. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it for that. Let me give you a quick rundown. JBL, Bass King, still Bass King, probably isn't going to be beat Bass King. We all know that. Yes, JBL's reaching lower. I mean, the LG is probably hitting around 40 hertz and stopping. Much like the UE Hyperboom, it doesn't mean that it's not good bass when it's hitting. It is pretty powerful. The JBL, they've just done things and made it that much better with bass. Just is. Um, as far as the LG goes, the it's the highs are played better. It's not as 
ear piercing quite as the JBL, but it does have some high piercing noise like the JBL, and it might be the horn tweeter when you get it to those extreme levels. You know, when you're maxing these babies out, that the horn tweeter that it has, it's definitely starting to get a little bit of that ear piercing. Uh, the JBL, I have been able to tone that back down a little bit with the EQ. Um, both are great speakers. They're almost the same loudness. However, I do think that the JBL is just a little bit louder, just like it has been against a lot of the other competition and everything like that. So all in all, if I have to choose one for the price, absolutely JBL is my go-to. LG is putting up a dang good fight. It sounds good. It sounds quite amazing with that horn tweeter, especially at lower volumes. The one thing I have noticed about the LG, it's like it has better bass around like 50%, 60%, and then it almost like doesn't have like very much bass beyond that. Uh, kind of like JBL does, but JBL still retains like a decent amount of bass, whereas like LG, the passive radiators, like almost start moving less and less and less like the louder you go. I don't know if that is to protect the speakers or kind of what it is about that, but JBL definitely for the win. Um, LG, clarity wise, I think the clarity was a little bit better. I think that the horn tweeter does make a difference and it's not as crazy ear piercing as the JBLs can tend to get. So that's a plus. Both are almost the same loudness. You're just getting that better bass and kind of better, better-ish sound with the JBL, but the clarity is there with the LG. Both are good, and LG also has the light show. It's got the little light thing on the back, which is pretty cool. You can put someone in a spotlight if you're doing like a dance routine, anything like that. The passive radiators have like the lights around them, so it's actually pretty cool on that kind of an aspect as well but seeing as they're both like 500 bucks i can't say hey lg for the win because you can get two of them for the price of jbl like i can with a lot of the other speakers head to head they're basically same price so i am giving this one hands down to jbl lg is doing a good job and definitely holds its own and gets close but for the money the speakers do definitely you're hearing it. You're going to hear it. You're going to experience it and feel it. But let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you want to hear next. I'm thinking about doing the JBL versus Hyperboom because I have not done that yet. I also want to do the LG versus Hyperboom. I want to do the JBL versus the new uh, 3.0 red speaker guy that I got back there. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys so much. Like, subscribe. Hit the bell notification if you guys want to see more videos like this. Let me know what you want to see. Have a good day, guys.